Okay, so let's dive into the XX coin, which is the quantum secure denominated currency that runs on the XX network. So I'm going to talk about the potential coin structures that we envision for the platform. I'm going to give a brief overview on quantum secure signatures, how they work, what security properties they give us. And then I'm also going to look at a denominated coin transaction so that we can actually see how a transaction works on our platform. So just to give some context, I want like just to mention that we're going to talk about the currency component of that overview diagram we saw. So when we like we're coming up with a system, we came up with some potential coin structures. So for now we have three. The first one is denominated coins. These are the most similar ones to the actual physical cash you find out there. So, but instead of using like five or $10, we use denominated like base two numbers. So we use one, two, four, and we also support fractions. These take full advantage of the Elixir privacy. So the Elixir mix net that will be described later in this presentation goes perfectly along with the denominated coins that we designed for the platform. Then we have wallets. Wallets is the most popular thing out there. When you think of a blockchain, you have a wallet. These are basically multi-use addresses that you use to send or receive some type of digital cash. Now, this is very peculiar for us because here we are using one-time signatures, but we want this to be multi-use. So we had to tweak this a bit. So we built incorporated like a list of hash-based public keys that you can use. So each wallet address is actually tied to a list of keys that you can use. These offer slightly less privacy. These are a very useful like, use case that you can find in our platform. Then we also support multi-signatures. These can be either denominated or wallet-based. These support the vast majority of use cases. So you can support escrow, joint custody, even smart, smart contracts. So we do this by requiring signatures from different parties in order to spend these addresses. So why a quantum secure currency? So quantum computers are closing in and the algorithms that run on these computers can actually break a lot of the cryptographic primitives out there. So as you're probably familiar, Shor's algorithm or even Grover's algorithm, they are serious threats to present day cryptography. So as an example, Shor's algorithm can break the discrete logarithm problem and the factorization of large primes. So to solve that, we use one-time hash-based signatures. More concretely, the Watts Plus scheme. This was introduced in 2013. This is a very interesting scheme with very solid security proofs. So we decided to go super safe, very well-established platform, uh, very well-established scheme. And this is the one we use. 